working okay. Hope you're all doing good. Hi there, it's Jonna here. Happy Easter to you all. I hope you have had a really good weekend and are feeling very relaxed and uh, just um, been relaxing with your family at home and being safe. I am continuing, even though it's Easter Monday, I'm continuing on Monday today uh, and showing your regular 3pm work from the Noble Sage Art Collection. So today we are going to be looking at a oil on board painting by uh, the the very well regarded artist Tessa Duk Sohail, who is from Pakistan. He's one of my favourites from the gallery, and so I show him. You know, I talk about him a lot. I think he he just continues to engross me and intrigue me, and I find his work provocative. And um, there's lots to talk about it. It never seems like the kind of work that's easy to summarise. And so, yeah, that's what we're going to be looking to, at today. Let me take you over to the piece. It's just over here. Here's the work. So let me show you from here. Uh, we're going to come round, see it in passing. So this is untitled. And as you can see, this is made up of uh, three, six, nine different, uh, it's like a storyboard. So nine quite separate stories on the one oil on board, on the one board backing. So this is not canvas, this is board. Um, if we get close to it, you you can see really well on this camera, actually. You can see some really quite dodgy happenings occurring in these paintings. Let's go through them and just have a look. I'll just let you look first. I'm sure you can see here, looking at it, looking at characters like this, that there is a kind of a seediness to these images. There's some very dodgy things happening. So why? So the uh, the reason why is, uh, well, I'll tell you about Tazduk Sohail. Sohail saw an incredible amount of um, violence and, um, and gore on leaving Pakistan after the partition, during the partition. He basically fled with his life and he fled eventually to London, and that's where he kind of fell into art. As soon as he started producing art, he was producing work often that were, that kind of describes a kind of a violent history that he's seen uh, while he was in Pakistan. And so in this work, it's not only about that kind of violence and abuse, but kind of a, an, about the kind of abuse and subjugation of women um, in Pakistan, where you can see in in these pieces that he's created separate squares to kind of diagnose that situation. So let's take this one. It seems to be a classic Sahel. You've got a. Let me put my glasses down. You've got a quite um, funny character here, smiling, ogling, and three other men, what look like bearded men with uh, headdresses perhaps mullahs glaring over this splayed nude and that in this is a kind of a this kind of Susanna and the elders kind of situation um uh kind of old testament style lechery old man lectures over young women is kind of the the, the kind of standard mo uh theme and motif that um that he that uh, Sahel goes to in such works and here you can see a woman bent over a man in um, perhaps in quite in kind of uh, who's being pleasured it looks like and a pregnant woman to the right over here you can see a couple one the woman nude looking on as two women what look like women approach each other so these are scenes of um, oh look at these look at this Happening here is beautiful. So these are scenes that are um, are deliberately provocative and 
um, tell of kind of the kind of um, scenarios that wouldn't be seen necessarily in the description of Pakistani art or in the description of Pakistan. He was very critical um, of kind of the way that um, women were treated in uh, in Pakistan and that became a key part of his work what he produced in in London. Um, this work is undated um, but it's um, but it, it's a good example of his themes. It's a, it's a gorgeous work. If we, we should take in the colour here because the colour is um, very striking and as you can see that these Im this imagery has been scrawled into the into the board scrawled and wiped and um, and there's kind of an aggression there that I think lends itself to the subject matter it also gives it a kind of primal feel I think like something scrawled on a wall or rubbed into a wall or scratched and I think that also uh, helps the content become even more powerful why the six works, sorry, the nine works on this one board? Well, it wasn't because of lack of space or lack of uh, materials. This, this is a, a kind, a style that, um, or a technique that Sohail employed a lot. And um, it was a way of kind of showing the multifaceted uh, happenings that are occurring, perhaps at the same time. These little vignettes of of horror really, of abuse and horror that he draws our attention to in the one board. And he doesn't go to any trouble, you know, marking off these individual squares. You know, it's quite roughly divided. You can see it's, ba it's barely divided sometimes. So it's like, it really feels like all these are different keyhole, um, keyhole scenes that we are taking in. Naturally this has got, this kind of work has got Sohail, in, has before he died, um, in early on his career particularly, into a lot of trouble. It got him into a lot of trouble. And so um, he's understandably kind of seen as someone who was very vocal in his art and um, and made a big impression on people. Uh, not only because of his technique. I've sold seven of this artist's work to Tate Modern, um, to the Tate Collection, and I, as I understand it, they'll be shown eventually in Tate Modern. Um, they are watercolours on paper. Uh, this is oil on board. But um, I know the Tate love this piece too. I mean, who could blame them? And it's not big, you know, it's not big. It feels, it's really not a big work. It's a very, very beautiful piece this. What else can I tell you about it? I'm just enjoying seeing this on camera. It's really, really special. I, I think we put our own kind of ideas of what we're looking at to the images. Um, we kind of make sense, fill in the gaps. Um, I mean, I love these figures. I just love them. This is a man helping a woman onto a horse and really having a grope at the same time. Look at that face. Paisley Arter asking, would you sell this piece to the Tate? I would sell this piece to the Tate. Yeah, I absolutely would. I mean, I've sold seven works to the Tate. Um, they haven't bought any canvases or any um, larger works. But yeah, I was showing them this piece. But they were more interested in my very large works, to be honest. Um, but I would be happy to sell them this if they were interested. Um, I'm very fond of it, but you can't afford to be very fond of work, so you have to, as an art dealer, be ready to let them go. Anyway, that's your art fix for today. I was getting lost in, uh, lost in that for a little bit there, looking at the work through my camera. Thank you so much for watching. You were looking at the work of Tasaduk Sohail, the Pakistani artist who sadly has passed away. Uh, we have a collection of, um, I must have a collection of uh, 
probably 80 or 90 works by him. If you are interested in seeing any uh, images or so on, please get in touch and I will send you some images um, by email so you can enjoy it at home. They are gorgeous works and excellent collectible items at the moment. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock. I hope you enjoyed that. Bye-bye.